Everything starts in a small town which called Aspen. This town is known with winter tourism. In this town, wintertime is most common time for business, such as tourist population hits the peak. And mom of one of our main characters decided to use the situation. She is a real estate agent who is good at her job. And she moved to Aspen with her daughter in September period. So her 15 years old daughter starts to Aspen High School where the main story will start. Chapter one, Aspen. Alarm clock rings, Emily shuts it down and says, I got 10 mins more and falls back to sleep. And you know what? She oversleeps. Rose breaks in and shouts, What the hell are you doing? Emily pops her eyes up, sees mom's mad face and clock, and yells, Holly shit! Jumps out of the bed, takes her cloths on as quick as possible while her mother yells, How can you be late even on first day of school? Emily yells, I'm running! Rose yells, Where the hell are you running to? You missed the bus. Are you gonna run six miles in five minutes? Emily says, Yes! Rose yells again. Get in the car, now! On the road to school, Rose keeps shouting, I can't understand how can you be not excited. New city, new school, new people, new friends, at least it's totally new experiences. And what are you doing? Oversleeping? Awesome! When I was a- Emily interrupts her. Mom, please stop. You are telling me billionth time that when you were young, you were an awesome student and stuff like that and blah blah blah. But I'm not. Okay? It makes no sense. Rose's tears are leaking down slowly. Emily notices and says, Ah, oh, come on, it's not your fault, it's just what I am. Rose smiles, vipes her tears and says, Of course it's not my fault, it's all cause of your dad. Emily smiles and yells, Ah, oh, stop it. They arrive. Mom starts rubing her cheeks. You're my cinnamon pumpkin. Emily says, Okay, okay, I have to run. Love you. Runs into school, gets in front of the class door, takes a deep breath, knocks and opens the door with shy feeling and says, sorry that I'm late, may I get in? Teacher says, oh, Amelia, sure, of course. I was waiting for you. Where have you been? I hope you haven't been in a trouble. Emily says, nothing important, just an issue with alarm clock. Teacher says, okay, glad to see you here. Have a sit. And teacher introduced Emily. Kids, this is Amelia, and she is our new member this year here in our high school. She sits next to a girl, doesn't say anything, and girl next to her doesn't say anything too, but she looks at her with an excited look. Emily tries to find her pens and pencils, but she notices that she forgot to take those in morning hurry. Takes a deep mad breath and turns to the girl next to her and asks, Um, do you have any spare pencil? She answers, Oh, I thought that you will never talk, sure. Just a moment. She takes a pencil from her backpack and gives to Emily by saying, I'm Jamie. Emily says, Emily. Jamie laughs a little and says, yeah, I know, teacher just told us. Emily smiles and says with a little shy voice, ah yeah, totally forgot about that. Gotta take some omega-3. Class ends, the break bell rings. Emily and Jamie goes to lunch with everybody else. They got their trays and sat to a random table. Jamie asks her first, so new girl, what's your story? How you fell here to most aristocratic town in states? Emily says, ah, long story, actually simple, but nah. Jamie goes, so we have enough time, I guess. Eventually, how long it might be. But if there is something that makes you uncomfortable, just forget, imagine I never asked. Emily smiles and goes, Okay, we lived in Tampa and we lived pretty well out there. Then my mom had some troubles in business, as she said, so she decided to move here and pulled me with herself as well. Jamie goes with low, careful tone. I'm afraid to ask, but what about your dad? Emily's smile disappears and answers shortly. Dead. Jamie goes, ouch, and hear why I was afraid to ask. Sorry about my quee. Emily interrupts her and, ah, no worries. I used to his disexistence. He is in better place now, I hope. So how about you? You made me tell you almost everything about me, so tell me about yourself. Jamie laughs. Okay, I like to read supernatural and metaphysical stuff. Also like to play voilen. My family are also artists. My mother is art and painting teacher in our school. Father is interior architect, and I am their only naughty daughter. Emily says, 
Well, it's impressive. I like to play guitar and piano too. Jamie says with excited voice, Oh, we gotta play something together sometime. Emily says, Yeah, seems like that would be fun. Jamie says, So how about relationship stuff? Have or had somebody there in Tampa? Dude, that Latino guys out there are so fucking hot. Emily goes, Nah, because of girls like you, they are so and selfish as well. Jamie goes, So look around. How about guys here? Do you like somebody? Emily laughs and says, Looks does not mean anything to me. Of course it matters, but just a little bit, because you know, as you say, hot guys are so dumb and thinking only about their selves and sex, exactly like Johnny Bravo. At that moment, a guy gets into the canteen, tall, fit, but not much muscular, long and black haired, all black dressed with black leather jacket and with a backpack on one shoulder. Didn't wait in line, says, hey Sam, my thing. Man behind the buffet says, yeah, here it is and throws a shake. That guy grabs it and goes to the farthest table, gets a sandwich from his backpack and starts to write some stuff in his notebook. Emily couldn't get her attention from him with everyone else, but when everyone turned back and started to have their own business, Emily kept looking to him. Jamie catches her, laughs and says, and here it is, did you fall in love or something? Emily startled and said, to the weirdest antisocial nerd in school? Nah, don't think so. Jamie laughs again and says, Yes, he is a bit weird. And yes, we can say that he is a nerd, but not a regular one. But Dave and antisocial is a little bit irrelevant. Emily says, Do you know him? Jamie stops and smiles again. Why are you that interested? Emily says with careless tone, Ah, just asking. You cannot answer. Jamie laughs again. Aha, got you again. Come on, just kidding. Almost everybody knows him here. I know I'm a bit closer, but it doesn't matter now. Loving to be alone and doing your own stuff doesn't mean that you're an antisocial. Yes, he looks like he is, but he has his own reasons for that. Emily is like, okay, okay, sorry about my preconceptions. At that moment, Dave stands up and walks to exit. When he reaches Jamie and Emily, Jamie says to Emily, watch this, and stops Davey by saying, hey Dave, how are you doing? Dave starts to smile instantly and says, Hey, Jamie, trying to be fine? How about you? Jamie says, yeah, we are fine. Look who we have here. New girl from Tampa, Emily, Dave, Dave, Emily. Dave shakes Emily's hand. Oh, Florida, nice to meet you, Emily. Hope you'll like to be here. And Jamie, you had something to say? Cause I have things to do, so. Jamie says, nothing. Just wanted to say hi, go ahead. See you soon. Dave goes, Okay, see you soon. Dave runs out of the canteen. Emily says with confused tone, what are you doing? Jamie says, see, he is antisocial. Right until you just say him hi, he is actually nice. You gotta get to know him. Emily notices that a blonde girl with heavy makeup looks to them and asks Jamie, why that girl looks to us like that? Jamie looks to that girl and laughs. Dave is also most desirable guy of the school because of his mysteriousness, and she is one of the girls that wants him. And because of he shook your hand, now she probably thinks that you are her enemy. But don't worry, she is like a little chihuahua. Emily laughs. Davey is most desirable guy? Holly sh- Jamie says, girl, whatever you say, I don't know how, but he is hot. Okay, we gotta go. Switching to home, Rose arrives, throws the keys and says, hey, sweetie, how was your late first day? Emily says, was how it's supposed to be, such a regular school day. Rose asks, have you got new friends, how are they? Emily says, yeah, got a talkative girl, Rose asks. So did you like to be here? Would you figure it out to being here? Emily says, do I have any other alternative? Rose's smile disappears for a second then gets a deep breath and says, yes, maybe we do not, but honey, I would do anything to make it easier for you. Then smiles again and says, I got cookies and ice cream. 